Gloria. This video is for the girlies who want to be content creators but are intimidated or don't know how to use those big fancy schmancy editing software tools. If you're a new creator or if you just don't really know how to edit that much, then this video is for you because I'm going to be teaching you how to edit your videos on Canva. Now this is more for short form content because these are shorter videos and I feel like this is going to be very helpful for short form content. And I highly recommend if you are not invested in the Canva Pro version, I highly recommend to upgrade to the Pro because there's going to be features that you may come across that you want to use very badly, but you can't because you're on the free version of Canva. And as I'm editing videos, I will show you those Pro versions if I end up using any. And just keep in mind that if you're on the free version, you're not going to be able to use them unless you're on the pro version. And I am on the pro version, so I will show you what some of those features are. There's a few things that I kind of want to touch base on and kind of give you some tips on what to keep in mind as you're filming. And if you want to know the best like inexpensive or free gear and tools that I use as a small creator, I actually have a free guide that you can download. It's called my YouTube starter kit and it's linked in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and give you a few tips and then I'm actually going to do a quick filming session and then we're going to head to the Canva editor and I will show you the entire process. The first tip that I have for you is to make sure that your exposure is the same through the entirety of your video. That's what I do when I'm filming. I make sure it's at a specific exposure and I keep it at that exposure. Me personally, I keep it at negative 1.7 or negative 1.3 depending on how bright it is in my videos. So in an iPhone in the top left hand corner, you can tap the number that shows right there. And then at the bottom of your screen, you can scroll to the left or the right to change the exposure settings. And as you film, make sure you have the same exposure settings each time. By having the same exposure through the entirety of your video, it's going to be so much easier for you to edit everything together. And it also creates a very cohesive aesthetic look to it. So whether if it's plus 1.3 or negative 1.3, as long as you have the same exposure through the entire video, it's going to look good. Another tip to keep in mind as you're filming is to have stable shots with movement. I highly recommend to have a tripod when you're filming because the tripod will help with keeping your shot stable. If you decide to actually handhold your device and pan left to right or up and down, make sure that you have your grid set on so that when you're panning or if you're tilting up and down, you stay kind of like in a straight line and you keep it as stable as possible. By either keeping the shot still or having a stable pan or tilt, it's going to create this very professional aesthetic feel to it. Also, when you are filming, you wanna capture some type of movement. At least that's what I do when I'm creating my videos and I usually get tons of comp on those kind of videos. What I mean by that is if you have your device on a tripod and it's just sitting there, the movement can be you walking through the shot or maybe people in the background moving or maybe just uh, like leaves blowing in the wind. Another example is if you are hand holding your device and you're panning side to side or tilting up and down, the movement is the entire shot. So that's why it's really important to make sure that those shots are as stable as possible because if your hand is the one that's moving it and you're not using a tripod or stabilizer or anything, it's going to contribute to like a very like sleek and professional aesthetic look. The movement is either the camera itself or something within your shot. Another tip that I have is to be sure you get symmetrical shots or you follow the rule of thirds. If you are looking at your frame and you have your grid on, it's going to be so easy for you to get symmetrical shots by placing your object or subject or video in the center and then making sure that everything on the left and the right hand side of your video looks even. And if you're following the rule of thirds, then basically your subject of your video is going to be placed on one of those lines. So it depends on which way they're facing or which way they're walking, or if it's an actual physical object, then you can place it either dead in the center and then make sure that the left and the right side of your video looks even. And also if you have any flat surfaces, then making sure that that follows straight across your video and it's right in between those lines on the rule of thirds. So make sure your video looks pretty even throughout the entire shot. And that's where the symmetrical shots come in and that's when the rule of thirds will come in. So it's one or the other basically, but you can use the rule of thirds or the grid for every single shot. You can utilize it to make it look as good, as symmetrical, as even as possible. So those are a few things to keep in mind as you're filming. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a compilation of me filming something and then we're gonna go ahead and edit it on Canva.
So what you'll do here is you'll open up Canva and click on create a design. Depending on the kind of video you're trying to create, you're going to type in that social media platform. So let's say you're trying to create an Instagram video. All you have to do is type in Instagram and then I would do story for the sizing or let's see if they have real on here. So you can do Instagram reel. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then this is basically your video editor. So at the bottom, you can see the duration of this clip right here, and there's nothing on it because we're going to work with it, but pretty much just to kind of dissect this. So at the bottom, this will be where your editing timeline is. This is where your video will be playing. This is your zoom option in the top in the bottom right corner. So you can make it smaller uh, to view it better. If you want to get specific details, you can zoom in. And then at the top, that's where all of your customized options will be. Um, so sometimes it'll pop up with certain font types or animations or effects, or maybe you're trying to edit down a clip. That'll all pop up at the top. On the left hand side, this is where your elements are. So where you will add in or you will get your text from, your uploads, all that good stuff. So first thing we'll do is title this project. So at the top, we're going to type in aesthetic video. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to our uploads. So assuming you've already uploaded your files, all you would need to do is find where your files are and then click and drag it to the left-hand side of Canva. So it'll look like this. If you click and drag a file over and drop it, it'll start uploading. So if you're under uploads, you're going to click on videos and then all your videos will show up here. What we'll do here is we'll click on page one and then we'll select the clip that we want imported into that video. As you can see here, it's not fully framed. So what you can do is right click it and then set video as background if that's what you want it to be like. If you want it to be out of frame like that where it's not fully in the frame, then you can leave it as is or adjust it. But I typically will attach it to the background. So what you can do is you can click duration at the bottom so that it just shows a little box. And what you'll do is you'll get each clip one by one and then you're going to drag it to the plus sign so it can import the video into your editing timeline. Let me go ahead and do that and we're going to add it So my video is flickering here, um, but I don't think it's going to be flickering when we export it. So I'll double check on that. But for the most part, what we have here is basically a sequence of all of our videos that we just filmed. And if you want to rearrange it, all you have to do is click and drag the videos around and then you can place it in the appropriate spot. But I typically will do that either at the beginning or towards the end of my video editing. So what you can do here is you can click on duration and it's going to show you the entire video clip. And what you can do now is you can either click on the specific clip and then you can drag it down to minimize it. I typically will leave the video up for about one second. Actually, 1.0 seconds is usually what I do. But if you want a little longer then, or a little shorter, you can do that as well. If you have multiple parts in your clip that you want shown in your video, all you have to do is click on the specific part of your video that you want to basically split and then you can right click it and then you can click split page or you can right click it and hit S. So if I go here and hit S, it will go ahead and split it. But let me go ahead and undo that. Um, and I will go ahead and basically trim this down. So I will drag this in to trim it down or I will go ahead and split it and then delete the ends or delete the parts that I don't want in my video. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this, but I will show you the process as I do it. Another note is while you are scrolling or while you are moving this to shorten it, you can see how many seconds it is with that little tag right here. So it says 5.2 seconds. If you keep going down, you'll eventually get to 1.0 seconds. So now that I've clipped down all of my videos, if I wanted to go ahead and rearrange it, I can simply do so. Another way that you can actually edit down the video clips is you can actually select a video clip and then in the top, you can click on uh, the scissors and then it'll show you basically where your video is displayed. So if you want to extend this out or you want to change the location of where your video is, um, wait, where your video that's edited into the video is, then you can actually change that. Um, so usually I typically will keep it one second each. And then you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of each square or each video, 
the duration of that clip. So right here, this is only nine sec or 0.9 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and actually alter this or stretch this out. So it's 1.0 seconds. And then I will go ahead and watch it through, make sure that I like everything and it's in order. Once you've gone through your entire video and you like what you have, you can go ahead and start to add text. So for my videos, for my aesthetic, I typically don't add in additional elements. So on the left hand side, you can see there's an element spot where you can add in like graphics and different videos and stuff like that. I typically don't do that. I will add text, but the thing about Canva is that you can only add text to clips. You cannot add text over multiple clips. So that's the downside of it. But if you want to go ahead and add in a text that'll go across the entire thing, there's a work around it. Um, so what you can do is add a text box and then it will pop up on your video. You can place it wherever you want. So let's say I want it right in the center and then I want to change this to POV. You're having lunch with me. So maybe that's the text that I want and maybe I like the size and I like the font, but at the top you can change it to whatever font style you want. You can change the size of it and then there's also other custom options that you can mess around with. If you want it in every single clip, so basically you want it to be consistent throughout the entire video, what you would do is you would have to right click it and copy and then you would have to go to every single video and right click and paste. It'll paste it in the exact same position so you don't have to worry about uh, moving it around, but that's the workaround for getting the text across multiple clips. So let's say you want it just in the first three seconds and then you play it, you can see that it says, the first three seconds but if you want it through the entire video you're going to have to click on every single square or every single clip and then you're going to have to right click and paste it so that's the downside of canva is that you can't take the text and put it across multiple clips all in one go but this is the workaround. So I'm actually going to show you um, the final video after I export it or basically download it. So you're going to click on share. You're going to select download and then you're going to download as an MP4 video. As you can see at the top, it's 32 seconds or 32.7 seconds long. And you can actually change the quality of your video. So if you record it in 4K, you can export it as 1080p or in 4K. But I will go to 1080p because that is the Instagram quality that it up uploads as. I'm gonna go ahead and hit download and then it will download the video. And then what I would recommend to do is I recommend to use Instagram editor or YouTube editor or TikTok editor, whatever platform you're uploading your video to, I recommend to get the music from the native platform that you're using. So I will show you what the final product looks like, but I am going to put in a fake song um, just so that there's no copyright strikes on this video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and then click on the video on the screen and I will see you there. Bye.